big game tomorrow. This is going to be your final March Madness, the final postseason of your college basketball career. Has that has that hit you yet? Uh, not really, just because uh, my goal is to go down there and win. So uh, it hasn't hit me yet. Um. Yeah, and and speaking of going down there and winning, your your first college basketball March Madness appearance was just about as good as anyone can ask for. You made it all the way to the Final Four. Take me through that run, especially as a freshman. I mean, it's like too good to be true right off the bat. Yeah, uh, coming in, I did, I honestly didn't know what to expect until uh, we know we got to going on a little streak and going there, we're going that far. But uh, you know, it was crazy. You know, seeing you know from 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 the bench to looking on the court and then, uh, you know, just seeing like this atmosphere and, uh, you know, just the players and how the players reacted. And then uh, this is how, how much our fans were uh, so involved in all of it. You know, I, I honestly didn't think uh, we were, our fan base would be that strong throughout our run. And then my freshman year, it kind of, it really opened my eyes to, uh, to, you know, the Spartan nation and how, how tied in they are with this program. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, from just going from being a freshman going to the Final Four, you know, it was a crazy experience. You know, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was, I can't even put it in words how crazy it was. But, uh, you know, I'm I'm glad I got to experience that. And then hopefully I can make a run this year and try to get that far. Obviously, your role on the team has changed a bit since then. I'm looking at your, your stats right now from your 2018-19 game log. And I think you had, uh, uh, what is it? I think three total points from the last Final four run. Uh, yeah. For a freshman. I had a three, I had a three against Minnesota. Yeah, you you remember pretty well. Obviously, mm. your role has changed a bit. Uh, what 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 can you say about your growth over the, these last four years to where you're at today and the role that you play on this team now? Uh, I've grown a lot, you know, over the last two years. You know, I went from, you know, scrying a little freshman to, you know, one of the leaders on this team. You know, then it's – then it all came with experience, you know, with, you know, the guys that were older than me when I came in, you know, they kind of helped, you know, help pivot to uh, the person I am today. And then, uh, you know, just grinding, you know, just keeping keeping my head down and, and working hard, you know, and then now it's, just, it's, it's all playing off this year. And then, uh, you know, the, the rest is yet to come. Yeah. Yeah, it says, yeah, you got three points in two minutes against Minnesota. Do you remember how those three points came? I'm sure you do. Yeah, uh, I think. I forget who who gave me a pass, but I think it was like an inside out three, knocked it down. And then uh, I know I, all I can I can remember a picture of me X and me X and Gabe, you know, celebrating. And that's one 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 of the pictures I'm going to frame someday. Do you have that picture right now at all? I probably can find this in my camera. I got like two thousand pictures in there. Okay, well, when you when you have time, as you're on the plane or something, shuffle through and try to find me that. Uh, that picture because I would love to include that. Speaking of uh, of Xavier Tillman, has he has he reached out to you at all uh, ahead of um, this tournament or anything like that? Because he was a big part of that team a few years ago, and now he's making a name for himself in the league. Uh, no, nah, just because I know it's not on purpose. It's, he has a busy, busy schedule, you know, with them traveling and you know with games back to back to back. So you know, and I'm pretty sure he'll be watching, and I'll talk to him. But I haven't talked to him yet. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely find me that picture at some point, though. Still, I got to see that. Um, and like I said, talking to your parents, what 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 has your relationship been like with them, even you know before your your college basketball career started, back in high school and stuff like that? Uh, my my mom and my dad have been with me the whole way. You know, uh, even when when you know I, basketball wasn't a plan for me or I wasn't taking it serious enough. You know, they're still they still have my back, you know, to still telling me to chase my dreams and, you know, chase my goals and stuff like that. And uh, they, they, they've they been with me every step of the way, man. And, you know, even through hard time, you know, I can call my mom and my dad, you know, just for an opinion or, you know, always, you know, for them to tell me the truth from stuff that, you know, I'm doing wrong or some stuff, you know, that I feel like I'm doing right, but still wrong, you know. Uh, but, you know, they're, they're, they, them have, they have been my uh, biggest critics, so, and I, you know, as a mom and a dad, you know, I appreciate them for that. You know, they they have they they've helped my growth a lot. You know, uh, with me just maturing and you know figuring out some stuff on my own, and uh, you know, then then growing up in Grand Rapids, you know, obviously taught me a lot too. So you know that that ties into it. But you know, my mom and my dad has been with me the step of my step, every step of the way. My my siblings, all my younger brothers, and my older sister, you know, they've been there for me and. Uh, 
you know, shout out to them. Do they come to a lot of games? Yeah, yeah. They try to. My mom tries to, tries to make every game she can. My dad's at every home game, you know. Uh, they, so whenever, whenever they don't got to do anything, you know, or that's on schedule, they, they're there for sure. Are they uh, like what? How would you describe them as as fans? Do you hear them like during the game? Are they are they like loud and rowdy? They're letting you know when you did something wrong. Yeah, uh, uh, my mom's my mom's is kind of, kind of the louder one, you know. Uh, my dad's kind of he's kind of laid back, but uh, you know when I look at him in the stands or something, he if I need if I if he tell if I'm slacking, he tell me come on, and you know usually usually I'm I'm hearing my mom most of the time yelling and stuff, but. You know, I just try to. They know I'm. I'm just trying to stay focused on on you know the task at hand, which is the game. And uh, I we'll talk about it after the game. But they know I hear them for sure. And but uh, my job is to be as locked as locked in as I can. Yeah, your job is to be locked in, and their job is to let you hear. They're doing their yeah. job, as parents for sure. <laughs> um, when you talked about you know growing up in Grand Rapids, and and you know I think it's cool for people here to see someone who went to high school in the area and now playing for a team that a lot of people in West Michigan root for a lot of people in the state root for. Do you think about that? Do you think about the people at home uh, who are watching you along this journey uh, at all? Did, does that come to your mind? Yeah. Yeah. I always think about, uh, you know, home, you know, that's, that's, a, that's, you know, that's where I'm from, you know, it's, it's tied on me. So, you know, I look at it every day, you know, uh, you know, just, Putting on for like the younger people that's coming up, you know, uh, you know they're pretty much the, the whole city is going to be watching the games and stuff like that. So you know, just try to put on the show for them and show them that you know they can do it too. You know, with just putting their head down and working hard, and it'll all pay off someday. You know, just can't you just you just got to keep going, got to keep working. Got to go back to something you just mentioned. You got a tattoo of 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 home or what? What is that? Yeah, yeah, I got uh, Grand Rapids. Tatted like on my, it's like on my forearm. I got a coat on right now. You can't really see it, but uh, I, I, I try not to cover it up during the games. You know, with our arm sleeve and stuff like that, so everybody can see it. So, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see it on TV on Friday. Can I see it now? Oh uh, yeah, let me take it. Take it. <laughs> I gotta see it now that we've talked about it. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Let's see it. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Love that. Love mm -hmm. that. Oh, do the the numbers on the bottom go along with it? Yeah, uh, it's actually uh, my grandma's my her passing date and uh, Roman numerals. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Then nice. I got the street sign right there where I'm from. Damn, you're all. This is uh, home. Home plays a big part in your life, clearly. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. That's where I'm from. I got a rep. Yeah, and someone else who's from this area is Kobe Bufkin. Um, yeah, I was just I talking to his mom earlier today, and she was kind of telling me that you know back when he was in eighth grade, you were a junior in high school. Uh, before you guys ever really played against each other, you kind of maybe took him under your wing, taught him a few things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've I've known Kobe for so long. You know, I. I've I've seen Kobe grow up into the man that he is today. You know, uh, it's crazy that when you see somebody that was so young and then they're, they're they get older and then you know you play against them, you play you playing against them in college now. So uh, you know, shout out to him. Uh, he's a hard worker. You know, every time I get a chance to to talk to him or you know, just try to give him games of the game and stuff like that, like advice and stuff. You know, I try to do my best and uh, uh, seeing him like seeing him in the summer. I, actually, this summer. This past summer before he before he came to Michigan, I got a chance to work out with him, you know, for a couple of days and you know, just learning learning some of his games, seeing seeing all the highlights and stuff, you know, when, when you're gone, you can't really, you know, see see like how, how much behind the scenes it is. But uh, he's a hard worker. You know, uh, he he loves the game of basketball, uh, you know, and then the best is yet to come for him too at Michigan. So, you know, even though it's you know it's school down the road, but you know, that's yeah. my that's one that's one of my little brothers, man. I, I and I like seeing him doing what he's doing. So shout out to him. Yeah. So what do you do? Are you torn? Do you do you root for Kobe and the Wolverines until they play you? Do you uh, not root for Michigan at all because they're in fact the worst school probably in your mind? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, I'm rooting. I, I can't say I'm rooting for Michigan, but I'm rooting for Kobe. <laughs> I say that. 
that's fair enough. I, I'll take that answer. Okay. Um, I think that's going to do it for me, man. Anything else you wanted to uh, wanted to add here that maybe we we missed out on mentioning that you want to get out there? Uh, Your dad is coming to South Carolina, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I heard. Okay, yeah. cool. Cool. Uh, not really. Uh, just you know, I'm locked in. I'm locked in more than ever. You know, try to chase this, chase this championship. So you know, you know, let's get to it. I'm ready. Do I? Are you allowed to give me a score prediction for for tomorrow, for Friday? Uh, I don't. Honestly, I don't have a score prediction. But you know, uh, uh, of course, like uh, obviously, you know, Spartans are gonna. We want to. We want to come out on top. But uh, probably one of these, huh? This, this yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure.